Today, we're excited to announce that Langsmith Agent Builder is now available in public beta. Langsmith Agent Builder is a new way of building no-code agents. It is not a workflow builder. It is an agent builder. Everything is driven by the agent itself. It's an agent equipped with a very detailed prompt, a set of tools, and even some sub-agent. We've tried to make building and maintaining your agent as easy as possible. Building in an experience where you can create agents using chat and also adding in the concept of memory to your agents so they naturally remember things as you interact with them. Over the past month, we've seen thousands of agents be created across hundreds of different use cases. Three big categories that have already popped up. One is deep research. So deep research is a task that is naturally very agentic and requires lots of planning and going down rabbit holes and summarizing. And so we've seen various sales and marketing and recruiting use cases pop up around this. Two, we have a concept of triggers, which trigger the agent whenever an event happens. And so we've seen lots of automations pop up from product to support to developer education. And we use a lot of these internally. And then third, of course, the classical productivity tasks like everything around email and Slack and maintaining one's calendar are big unlocks with this agent. You can try Agent Builder for free today. You can get started at langchain.com. We've also added in some new features as part of the public beta release, such as bring your own tools via MCP, workspace agents, so you can share and customize agents with your team, and then multi-model support, so you can choose the best model for your task. Let's dive in and see an example. So first, these are the workspace agents that we have here at LangChain, and you can see that they've been created by a variety of team members. If I click into my agents, I can see the ones that I use for my personal tasks. Let's first walk through the experience of creating an agent. I wanna create a LinkedIn recruiter for various roles that we're hiring for here at LangChain. So I'm gonna tell it to do that. Now, of course, this information that I gave, that those two words aren't enough for it to actually create a re reliable agent. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna go and do some research about what types of tools we have, and then it's gonna ask me a bunch of follow-up questions so that it actually can create a better agent. So I'm going to be searching for candidates based on specific criteria, um, uh, all roles really, um, I would like to just, uh, just chat and this should be triggered manually whenever I want it to be. So it's going to submit it and now it's going to go ask, I guess, one more clarifying question and yeah, cool. So I'm going to want their, um, name, detail, uh, and LinkedIn profile. And I think that's probably good enough. Awesome, so now it's gonna go about creating this agent and we can see it doing it piecemeal. So it first sketches out the agent and then adds in a tool. So I'm gonna be using X's LinkedIn search for this and then it's writing a system prompt and it's gonna go about creating the agent this way. I'm gonna make it so that this is only available for me and then let's create the agent and here we go. I'm brought into this page where I have a pretty detailed prompt, and then this tool, which is Exa LinkedIn search. So now here I have my little test chat mode. So this is where I can take it for a run, and I can also run it in this debug mode, where basically every time it tries to make a tool call, it will stop and wait for approval. This is really handy because I can correct it and it can use memory to update what it should do. So now let's try out a search that we're running right now at the moment for deployed engineers. We can see that right off the bat, it wants to start an Excel LinkedIn search for this. That's actually not what I want it to do. So let me tell it, you should ask follow-up questions to get a better sense of JD. Remember this. And so now what it will do is the first thing it's actually gonna do is it's gonna update its memory. So it's reading its system prompt and it's gonna update its instructions. So I'm gonna approve that. It's gonna read the system prompt. It's now gonna edit the file and the file that it's editing is the system prompt. And so if we look at it, 
we can see the old string that's there. And so this is the how to search. And now we can see the new string where it says, ask clarifying questions first, blah, blah, blah. So we can continue. And this is gonna make that edit to the system prompt. And now it goes in to asking this. Now, if I refresh the page, I can see here that it's updated its instructions. And so I can see the modifications that were made. And if I start a new thread, I can see that it asks some qualifying questions now. So it's remembered that. So this is the real LinkedIn candidate sourcer that I've been using for the past month or so. And you can see here that we're hiring for a go-to-market recruiter. And I can see here a sense of what it looks like when I now interact with it. So it's asking a bunch of clarifying questions. I give it some answers. It then goes and checks to see if it has any existing search criteria. Because one thing that I've told it to remember is I've told it to remember all the JDs of things that we've looked for. So it doesn't see an existing criteria file for go-to-market recruiters. So it starts a new one. So it's gonna remember this for the future. So if I wanna pick this search up in a different chat, it can just refer to this. It then does this initial calibration search for three to five candidates. And this is what I prompted it to do um, because I want it to basically search for a few, tell them to me, and then I can say, yes, this is a good search, this is a bad search, and, and calibrate that way and basically do that until it's calibrated. So it does that. We can see some responses here. Um, and then uh, and it uses a subagent for that. So it's actually kicking off a subagent for that. I give it some feedback, and then it kicks off another search, and this is the more detailed search. Um, and uh, actually, that's another calibration search. And so then I, I give some more feedback. So we need SF. SF is a hard requirement. So we're iterating on the requirements and we're clarifying which parts are hard requirements, which parts are maybe soft requirements. It does another search. And then it finds another subset of one. And then, yeah, these look great. Get me 50 candidates. And so now it kicks off a, a more comprehensive search and it runs this. And at the end, it actually saves them to a file. So one of the really nice things about the agents in the agent builder is they all have access to this file system where they can basically store files. So here, it doesn't actually respond with all the candidates. It, it saves them to this file. And this is great because now I can just download this file or share it or copy it or anything like that. So this is what a real recruiting agent that we built on Agent Builder looks like in practice. Again, Agent Builder is free to try today. So get started at langchain.com and try it out. Thanks for watching.